Hi, and uh, welcome back. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to answer uh, this question. Did you ever think you were bad at math? And if so, how did you overcome? So I guess the answer to this first question is yes, absolutely. I felt like I was bad at math, uh, certainly growing up, certainly in school. And, you know, I, I guess like one of the things I want to say is I think that I had a lot of empirical evidence that I was bad at math. I mean, you know, it was like math classes were always this, you know, stressful thing to kind of get through. It was never really portrayed, uh, you know, in the class or at home or, you know, in society at large, I guess, that it was something you were supposed to enjoy. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, thought that, you know, like, okay, well, I'm, you know, the person that's getting C's and D's in, in math class. I'm one of the people that is bad at math, you know, and then there, you know, there were other things too. I mean, like I, you know, I was, you know, told by, you know, uh, you know, teachers on a few different occasions, don't try to take calculus or don't try to take this class. It's beyond you. You shouldn't be trying to, to do this. Um, or math shouldn't really be factoring into your goals right now. So, you know, I think that you know, I definitely thought I was bad at math, and I think I had, you know, a lot of kind of evidence that was pointing me to, to uh, I guess, this, this conclusion that I was bad at math. Um, and I guess the way that I overcame that, and you know, or at least overcame it well enough to uh, think like, okay, well, you know, even if I'm bad at math, I can still you know, go back to school, I can still kind of, you know, I, I could still, you know, perhaps enjoy it enough to, uh, to uh, get back into a degree program or enjoy it enough to be able to do engineering. Uh, I guess the way that I overcame that was um, by being able to kind of tutor myself uh, on stuff that I had kind of missed the ball on uh, back in middle school and elementary school, really. I think that that was really what allowed me to kind of overcome the feeling that I was bad at math, was that I was able to kind of go back over uh, all the topics, like, you know, dividing decimals and, uh, you know, uh, how you multiply, you know, multiply two integers without a calculator, and uh, even subtraction by borrowing. I mean, <laughs> that was, you know, if I... I, I, you know, there were, were kind of a lot of things that I th thought that I needed to go over and really that I needed to go over in a setting where it was just kind of me by myself working on it. I think it was, you know, very important for me uh, in order to be able to overcome that, that, you know, it, it was something that I could feel like I was doing alone. Like I could feel like, you know, I was just going to take my computer sit at this table and, and, you know, watch a video to get tutoring and to work on it by myself. It was kind of, you know, it, it wasn't like having another person there that was going to, you know, kind of look at me in a way as like, why are you, you know, you're, you're 25 years old, why are you still working on, on subtraction by borrowing? So I think that that was one of the things that really helped me overcome uh, uh, the feeling that I was bad at math. You know, one other thing I do just want to say that I think really did help me overcome the feeling that I was bad at math and really helped me, I guess, start to think that maybe it could even be something that I could be potentially good at or potentially that I could do well um, was, uh, you know, like I, I had been using the Khan Academy. I started, I started using the Khan Academy in 2007. And maybe in about 2009, some of the videos that began to get posted on the Khan Academy were uh, interviews and talks that Sal Khan was giving. And I remember, you know, watching these talks and just thinking, like, you know, the, this guy is, like, narrating out my life. I mean, he's, like, narrating out every anxiety I've had about math class. And, you know, like, I, I think that you could argue, you know, when I was in high school or when I was in middle school you know, could I have worked harder? Could I have studied harder in math classes? You know, I think, sure, I absolutely could have. Um, but, you know, I, I do certainly feel like, especially at the high school level, especially in the math that I was uh, seeing in high school, that even if I had worked harder, I don't know if it would have necessarily changed my outcomes or have been able to change, I guess, this 
feeling, you know, like there were too many, I guess, holes and that I didn't understand that were much more basic. And there was really, you know, and I, and I don't know if, you know, how like exactly it can, you know, I, there were really just too many holes that were too basic and there was no real mechanism for being able to learn that. And there was so, and there was certainly no mechanism for being able to learn that without having some type of label put on your forehead that says, you know, oh, well, this guy clearly, you know, he never understood subtraction. You will learn subtraction when you're in third grade, you know, and this guy's in high school. So clearly he's a, uh, he's terrible at math. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I do want to say, like, one of the things that was very powerful uh, for me uh, in helping to overcome this feeling was, you know, frankly, getting to hear uh, the different things that uh, that uh, Sal Khan and the Khan Academy really had to say about the philosophy of teaching, not even math, teaching anything. Like, I, I think that, uh, you know, um, like, it... it, it I think that people learn things at different paces and there's really not much about the educational system that most people go through. And I'm not saying about public education or private education. You know, I, I even went to, uh, you know, private school for elementary school. Um, and, uh, you know, there's nothing in that system that even acknowledges that people learn at different paces. And I think that, um, that, uh, that, uh, kind of being able to acknowledge that people do learn at different paces, that it can take a long time to, to, uh, learn anything, including math, especially math, uh, was really important for me in being able to overcome, uh, the feeling that I was bad at math. So, uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.